So we took a few moments and tested Alexa and the microphones that Sonos built into the Beam. They do have five microphones built in and they're designed to be able to hear for the keyword Alexa or whatever it is you're using uh, at higher volumes when you're watching TV or listening to music. So we wanted to test that out. And so we tested from about 10 feet away and about 17 feet away. And we tested it while we were watching a movie and while we were listening to music. And when we were about 10 feet away, when we were listening to music, she could respond all the way up to full volume at 100%. She was very reliable in her response to our uh, commands. When we were watching a movie, we tried to pick some louder scenes of the movies just to test you know, that scenario. And we could get about 80% before we had to yell. So we could keep a normal talking volume at about 70 to 80% when we were watching movies from about 10 feet away. When we moved back to 17 feet away, we could still do movies at about 80%. Uh, so she still heard in the louder scenes, obviously the real loud scenes, maybe not quite 80%, maybe a little bit less. Uh, but we could not get to 100% on movies from 17 feet away. And then with music, it was about the same uh, 70%. So when we were 17 feet away, when we were listening to music, she could not hear us when it was turned up to 80%. We tried it over and over and over at 80%, and she kept not responding. Turned it down to 70, and she responded reliably. So, so right around that 70% mark. So, you know, most of the time I'm not listening to my music quite that loud. So I think in a room, you know, you could be maybe 20 feet away and get good, reliable response if you're not blasting at full volume. So, so the microphones did pretty good. Uh, and, you know, it's designed to be used in a, in a room that's, you know, Sono says the beam is designed for medium and small rooms. So I would say being 20 feet away is getting into the large sized room. So those microphones, you know, may not work as well when you're getting further away from it, uh, but it's really designed to be in rooms probably that would be a maximum dimension of a room that it's really intended to be used with. So I think the microphones are well suited for the spaces that the beam is designed to be in. So the next thing we wanna do is we wanna jump into something that's brand new, and that is going to be Apple integration. So how does it integrate with AirPlay 2 and with HomeKit? So, uh, so we're gonna do that. We've never done that before on a third-party product. Uh, so we're gonna see how that works and We'll, we'll see how it goes. Okay, so AirPlay 2 with Sonos products is very simple. Whether it's the Beam, the Play 5, the Playbase, or the Sonos One, those are all the products that are compatible with AirPlay 2. It's real simple. You just open up an app on your phone and you play. So I've got a YouTube video playing. So we got YouTube playing, coming out of my phone speaker. I feel like I could really get better sound, but I wanna share it. So I can just tap on the share icon in the YouTube app tap on AirPlay and Bluetooth. And it's gonna list all my devices. So you can see in our network, we have, we have quite a few Apple TVs set up. But you'll see we have Living Room, which is the Beam, and then we have a Play 5. So they both showed up right there, so I'm just gonna tap on Living Room. And it's gonna switch over. I already turned it on, it's set to 160 degrees. And so now that volume is coming out of the Play Base, or I'm sorry, it's coming out of the Beam. And then my volume control of my phone is controlling that beam volume. I can also tap on the play five. And so now I have the ability right within AirPlay, without going into the Sonos app or anything, I can control my play five volume. So I'm gonna mute my living room. And so it's playing out of my play five. So I'm playing with this. Now if you have a HomePod, our demo HomePod's not on this network. Uh, but what it allows me to do is I had like a, another AirPlay 2 product, like the HomePod or a speaker from another company. I can be playing out of my Beam and out of the HomePod at the same time through AirPlay. So it is a pretty neat way to integrate products from different manufacturers, uh, not just Sonos. And it's done right within here. I don't have to open the Sonos app to group those speakers together. But essentially, I'm doing that. So now let me just exit out of here and let me open up the Sonos app. And you can even see on the, the phone screen that uh, the Play 5 and the living were grouped together and you can see that it was started from AirPlay. So you even have that notification that 
it was recognized that this was started through airplay and these were grouped together through airplay. So that's a pretty neat little notation that's included inside the Sonos app. So the next thing we want to do is we want to get it to work with our home app. So how do we get it into the home app? And how does, because that is what's going to allow the Hey Siri function to work from our phone. So we're going to try that out and see how that goes next. All right, so now we want to set up the Sonos Beam with the Apple Home app, you know, to integrate it into our HomeKit uh, ecosystem. So we're going to do that through the Home app, and it's important to make sure you update your iOS on your device, whether it's your phone or an iPad. Uh, you need to be running iOS 11 or newer because uh, that's what adds the capability into uh, to do this. And that's true for AirPlay 2 as well. So check your updates. If it's not working, see if you have any updates in your settings on your phone and then do the update and then see if it works. So I'm going to go ahead and open up our home app. So I've got the Apple home app open. I'm just going to tap on the plus button to add a new accessory. Add accessory. And we're going to skip this because older Sonos products like a Play 5 or a Sonos 1 does not have an, a HomeKit accessory code on it. Now the Beam, I did notice that on the information packet, there's a code on the Beam. And that looks familiar from other HomeKit devices I've set up. And then also the Beam has it on the bottom of the Beam has that same code. But for this video, I'm going to go ahead and attempt to do it without a code because that's relatively new with iOS 11. So I'm going to go ahead and hit do not, I don't have a code. And so when I do that, three accessories show up. There's a Eve product that's in our building that's not configured. Uh, but we can see our Play 5 and then the living room is the Sonos Beam. So I'm going to go ahead and just do the Beam for now. So I'm just going to connect to it. You want to make sure you're nearby because it does use Bluetooth and stuff to help set it up. So I can pick what kind of device. It's a speaker, of course. I'm going to pick the room. It's in our home theater room. Actually, I'm going to pick living room. And if I want to include it in our favorites, sure, why not? And we'll hit done. And so now it should show up here. I'm going to go back to home. And you can see my speaker, living room speaker is here. And right now it is not playing anything, so there's no control of it. And, but we can see it is a Sonos product and it's a Beam. So I'm going to go back and just do this real quick for the Play 5. Because the Play 5 is an accessory that came out before uh, it had HomeKit integration. So I just want to make sure it works how it should. So we're going to hit Play 5. And it is ready to use. And I'm going to make sure I'm going to put it in, let's just put it in Home Theater. So I have it in two separate rooms. We'll include it in our favorites. Now it is important that the name stays the same, so don't change to a custom name because you want the name to match the Sonos app. So don't change the name on here. Even though you can, it's not recommended and it may not function properly if you do that. Uh, so now I'm going to try and tell Siri to play some music in my living room. Play some music in my living room speaker. So there it is. Turn it up to 80%. Turn it down to 30%. So you can see it's working. Skip song. So it's playing, it's working, I'm using Siri, so this is going through my Apple Music subscription to control this, and it works just like it would with a HomePod. All right, will he get away? We don't know. So we're watching The Incredibles uh, on our TV, through the Apple TV, and you'll notice when I was adjusting the volume that we could see the Sonos Beam show up right here, so you can actually see where the volume is, and that's because we're using Arc uh, through the Sonos Beam's HDMI port. Uh, so that's one benefit you get with having ARC set up instead of using an optical cable. But what we want to show right now is AirPlay 2. So if I just swipe down on my Apple TV remote, I'll get my information and I can go to my chapters. But if I scroll over to audio, I'm going to get all my AirPlay 2 speakers on, in my house, in my, on my network. 
So what I'm going to do is just go over here and I'm going to pick play five and I'm going to pick living room. Uh, and so now I can control. So now the sound is going to come out of both speakers. So let me get out of that screen, go back, hit menu and we'll hit play. So now you can see on here that, um, let me pause it so you can hear me. So now we can see that in the Sonos app, I have the Incredibles playing from AirPlay 2. And again, that's only available to me um, through AirPlay 2. Normally when you're watching TV, uh, it just says TV and you don't know what's playing. But here, because of that AirPlay 2 connection, I can see that we're watching the Incredibles, which is something that's, this is the first time I've actually seen that um, in person. Uh, we can also see that it's playing from AirPlay 2. But we can also see that it's playing in my living room, which is my Beam, of course, and my Play 5. So let's just play it. And so I can mute my living room and see here in the Play 5. But again, that was all initiated through the Apple TV interface just by swiping down on the screen and going to audio. So I was able to pick the speakers and I could even turn off the Beam completely and only have it coming out of my Play 5, which is over on this side of you. Uh, and so it works pretty cool. I can control it right with my Apple TV remote so I can group it to other rooms of my house, which and how my house is set up, I do that all the time. And so being able to do it without having to grab my phone to do that, it's gonna actually be a pretty nice uh, setup when I, when I get my beam at my house here in a, in a few days. So. All right, so as we close the video, I think we went through a lot of things from the, uh, we've done videos on unboxing it, setting it up, using it with Alexa, we've talked about a little bit, setting it up with Apple's AirPlay 2 compatibility and even Siri commands uh, through our phone. And really, everything worked as expected. We didn't really run into any major hiccups uh, besides our iPad just being old and slow. Uh, of course, that's not the fault of the Sonos Beam at all. Uh, but really, things went really smoothly and there's a few surprises uh, from getting our volume control on the screen to actually being able to see what's playing uh, when we're watching TV in the Sonos app. Uh, you know, through, um, through AirPlay 2 showing us that from the Apple TV. Uh, some nice surprises were mixed in that I wasn't expecting to see. Uh, so really, uh, we really give the, the Beam two thumbs up and I uh, really encourage you to come check it out and, and listen to it yourself and see if it's gonna find a place in your home. The one thing we did wanna mention is just make sure everyone understands this, that AirPlay 2 has certain limitations for using Siri to control your music. And that's gonna hold true whether it's on the Apple HomePod, a Sonos Beam, or some other AirPlay 2 speaker, is that Siri is only going to work with Apple Music to get music started. So if I wanna to listen to the Beatles, I can tell Siri, hey Siri, let's play the Beatles in my living room, and it's going to work if I use Apple Music. If I wanna use other music services, I have to initiate those from the app. So if I wanna to listen to Pandora, uh, using AirPlay and using Siri, I would have to initiate Pandora either from Alexa, which you can do on the Beam, or through the Sonos app or the Pandora app. And once it's there, then I can use Siri commands to turn the volume up, down, skip a song, or pause music. So I just wanna make sure we clarified that because we didn't talk about that earlier, uh, but that is uh, a limitation of Siri, and maybe one day Apple will open that up to third-party music uh, services, but right now that's only Apple Music that's gonna let us launch a new music stream uh, with Siri. Uh, so really great product, we're impressed by it, and we encourage you to come check one out, visit one of our stores in Sarasota, Savannah, or Noonan to check out the Beam and listen for yourself and see what you think. And thanks for watching.